We got a brand new evolution coming into Clash Royale. Today's video is about showing you game plan stats of the new evolution archers coming into the new November season and Clash Royale available through the past. Royale. So guys, first of all, this might be the most interesting concept ever. So we kind of take a look, first of all, of course, of the Evo Archers. Most of you guys knew it already. It's going to be the Evo Archers. And they're looking really, really cool as an artwork design there. And they got a really interesting concept. So first of all, really important for you guys, the cycle will be two. So this is like the main thing. Right, and as you guys can see, they're doing a great job on defense. More of a defensive card, I would say. They most likely work well in a ton of different decks. As I said, we're playing later some games, but kind of take a look at the stats now. So, we kind of take a look at the info stats, which is really, really important. So, the range damage kind of doesn't increase at all, um, hit speed doesn't increase at all. Range increases, but this is of course like some of the main things, and the hit points increase. So it's really important for you guys to know. Arrows won't kill evolution archers. So this is really, really important for you guys to know. It's like similar what's kind of compare the archers to the um the firecracker EQ law kills it, um fireball poison so on, everything kills the archers, um, or like the evolution archers similar to the firecracker, but arrows won't. So this is really interesting. And now we're kind of taking a look at this. These archers have been specifically trained by Arch Queen herself as a her personal scriptures. They deal double damage to far away enemies with power shots. So this isn't really interesting thing so you want to play the evil archers as far away as you can from the opponent troops to get as much damage and value as you can so prime example as you guys can see here in the gameplay so your opponent is going to play and phantom can actually snipe it similar to a magic arch i would say the range is absolutely crazy there and as you guys can see here also against hawk rider you are able to defend the hawk rider without taking any damage on defense otherwise the hawk rider normally would take two damage so kind of comparing the range there as you guys can see a 6.5 to an example like a magic archer so let's kind of see where the magic archer is um um, where's the magic archer? Here's the magic archer. So let's take a look there. The magic archer range is seven, so it's almost like a magic archer. And still keep in mind, it's just three legs. The archers itself are solid cards, so this might be absolutely crazy. But now we're just gonna jump into some gameplay with different decks and let's see how good evil archers are really in game. So guys, here we go into the first game, which is called the Legend, and let's see what Call of Legend is going up there. Call of Legend finally has also creator code. So if you guys don't want to support me, use the code of my friend Call. His creator code is. Um, we're just gonna go for the log there, and yeah, he finds a death account so we can do record videos together. I'll just love him also soon, maybe on voice if you guys want to see that. But I think this is really, really cool here. So, we're gonna use like Hog Rider cycle there with this evolution archers. We need to cycle of two, as I was mentioning earlier, and arrows are not killing them, which is of course surprisingly insane. So, I'm just gonna go for my Hog Rider here, and I'm kidding. What do you guys think about them? I was kind of hyped about the bats because I thought on paper they look absolutely broke. Because okay, great NATO, um, because it was like who. If they heal up, Zap and Rage are not killing them. But the thing is, like, they take years to heal up. They take absolute years to heal up. And this is just, like, absolutely the, the crazy thing about this type of card. So this is, like, why bats are currently bad. So I talked... I, I liked you guys. I said... I thought bats were broken. I absolutely thought they were broken, but they weren't. And this is kind of what... It's like kind of, I think, also the, the thing we shouldn't overreact, guys. We shouldn't overreact. Also, like, an exciting time is coming up to Clash Royale. Um, if you feel that you guys didn't see yesterday's video, make sure to check it out. There might be, or there will be, a new champion coming into Clash Royale. When I have information, which I can share, of course, I will do it and also will show you gameplay. So I'm really excited for this time. So let's see. And I just pray. Bro, this, this, this nade is from Call of the Legend. Very interesting. So finally, we now got the Evo Archer. So, bro, I'm kind of thinking about that. When their opponent got a Greybeard in the deck and we're playing the Evo Archers far in the back, they should be able to kill them without like, their opponent being able to poison them. Similar to an example and the... Uh, the Dark Goblin at example, so I think Evo Archers might be a better Grave account. I'm honestly happy about it. I hate Grave So, as you guys can see, it's like the best placement for Evo Archers. It's like, um, they need to be far away. As more, like, as far away they are, as more damage they do. So, this is kind of the thing, right? So, always want to play them as far away as you can. And also, you need to kind of, um, I'm just gonna go for Evo Archers here. You need to be careful because they're really instantly targeting towers, similar to Magic Archers. So, like, as you guys can see, they're already at tower here. Evo Archers are doing a solid job, though. No! The Call of Legends Evo Archers! They're still alive! They're still shipping down my tower! What the heck, dude? It's so hard to get the right timing that they're in tower range and that you're able to get the, um, get the pickup against them. This is so, so hard. Well played on his end, but, dude, how annoying was that push? Just like having evil archers in there as a counter push, my evil archers didn't really feel like they did, they, they did a decent job against Graveyard, I would say. They did a decent job against the Graveyard, um, but not against the backer, right? The backer just absolutely destroyed me. So I would say, like, evil archers on offense, maybe I felt like, first of all, evil archers are a great card on defense, but it seemed like maybe they have like more strength on offense. So I'm just gonna go for my log there, I'm just gonna go EQ, finish them off. EQ log still kills them. Similar to Firecracker, Magic Archer, Fireball, of course, still kills them. Arrows are not killing evil archers. Keep 
that in mind. So I'm like kind of interested to see like the, your comments, guys, about this card. You guys think it's gonna be worth? You guys think it's gonna be bad? Just gonna let me see some snow from Ice Boot here. We're gonna win this one. GG's. Well played. No, no, we're not gonna win this one. We lost. GG's red. But what I'm talking about? We lost. But I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. Let's go to game number two. Game number two here was is called The Legend. And let's see what Call of Legend does. We're just gonna give him a good luck. And we're playing a Mortar Miner Control, which I think is like the best. I think Siege can be really good because you're playing your Mortar Bridge and you can play your archers. So, like, you don't really need to give him any spell value, right? Uh, because you can play them as, as fast away as you can. So I could think like Mortar and Expo could both work really well in this type of deck. But let me know what you guys think. The X will be strong. Of course, I will show you guys um, some decks with you archers. Kind of hopefully. Playing you, which you are just like, stupid. what the heck? Like, this miner, I like already recorded for my German channel video. Like, the miner looks so weird now. Like, how is he? Like, I don't know, that's interesting. So, I'm just gonna go in there for my knight. Knight is doing a great job, and now I'm just gonna go for my log. And now I'm just might think about what am I gonna do next? Do I go mortar at the bridge? Do I do we go something else there? He plays like a log bear deck. Interesting. Log bear rascals. I mean, I like a ton of arrow spade in his deck, of course. So this might work really well for him. So um hmm. I might just go in for my mortar there. Mortar's coming down! He goes in for his archers and also for his dark. I'm just gonna go for my ice bridge there. What the heck did the Icebreaker give me? might get one shot. I think one shot is already like a successful shot. I think Marcel P back then in 2016 was saying something really, which is like really still in my mind. It's like a successful mortar is one mortar shot. When you get one mortar shot, it's already successful mortar. Like, I don't know if you guys remember these days with Marcel P and so on. This was just an absolutely crazy OG clash real time. Let's go for my goblins there. Using my ice bird here. Good ice bird. No, perfect. Uh, bad ice bird. I mean, it's not gonna pick up the goblin. I don't know why, but it didn't. So, now we got the evil archers. Of course, in cheap psychedelics, most likely played. Okay, so I'm interested. I'm just gonna go for my archers here, maybe. And I'm just gonna go for my knight here. Let's see. So, archers are coming down for both of us. I'm just gonna go lock. I'm just gonna go mortar here. No, why are you dead that away, dude? Why are you dead away? Okay. Goblins, Miner. Okay. Lock. We should do an okay job there. So, now I'm just gonna go in here for my... Okay, just listen for Archers. Okay, that was well played by Carl. Ooh, is Carl really the Mortar uh, the, the lock bait goat? That's the question I'm asking myself. So interesting Mortar placement from Mortar Royale there. I think it's still it's on tower. I think I'm just gonna go Lock there. Okay, that Lock was absolutely horrible, I think. Noble Goblins Iceberg there. Hopefully killing all of the stuff. Let's go. Now I'm just gonna go this. Need to go lock now. Really good goblins. Dude, like Oh, I just thought this guy can play lava on. What's going on with Cole? Um and the bright of the Modern Royale video. He's playing like the goat. So Lock is gonna fish him off. Princess plus Lock shot interesting to know. I think like the fight like, I didn't even actually do that in his prime. He's gonna go for a miner there. Now I might just like this miner. I don't know. I don't get over that. Like it looks so weird sometimes, dude. So I might just go now for. I'm just gonna go for archers here first. I'm just gonna go for another mortar. Also close game, guys. Close game. Really well played so far from both sides. I would say I'm just gonna go for my uh, knight. I'm just gonna go for my lock there. Archers like this. I just hope the others are gonna clean up the dark prince. They do. I'm just gonna go for my mortar there. He goes for a log. I'm just gonna go gobbles. Okay. I'm just gonna go for my knight. I have my log ready. I'm just gonna go log there. Yeah, okay, was well played. I'm just gonna go archers in front. Oh no! Well played, dude! No! Does he have. No, no rocket, please. No, no, Carl. You're not gonna finish me with rocket. You're not. You're not gonna finish me with Rocket, he is. GG's not fine. Absolutely awesome game, he played really well, but I don't know. I, you know I, just, I don't know if this team underwhelming. I think they can be good in some situations, but I don't know. They just been not as broken as Firecracker fault. So, guys, final game here versus Call the Legend. And let's see what he plays. We're just gonna go in there for a good luck. And we're playing Axe right? We have to play Axe with this type of deck, right? This is like, this is our mission. This is what we have to do there. And we're just gonna give him the good luck. I'm just gonna also. Mm, I don't know. Is he playing Lava? Is he really playing his main deck, guys? Um, hmm. 
Okay, so... Okay, I'm just gonna go Axe Sam lane. So normally I think against Larbon, we should have a great matchup with Axe as long as we're playing well. But to be fair, I'm a really bad Axe player. So this is kind of the problem here. I mean, not really too bad. I would never say bad, but not really that great. So let's see. I'm just gonna go for my skeletons here. I'm just gonna go Archer's set of not Archer's number one. I'm just gonna go Fireball here immediately. Good Fireball. No, bad Fireball, bad Archer's. <laughs> and we got so much damage. Let's see. Is he gonna use now his... Um, is he gonna use now his balloon is the question. If he does, that would be interesting. I'm gonna use it now. I'm just gonna go for my Tesla. Ice bird. Knight. And I think the Tesla should clean this up really good. The defense and also we got now the Evo Archers in hand. Skeletons are coming down. Skeletons are doing a great job there. And I think so far we are fine. I might just go now for another expo there. This might be the play, right? Just spamming expos as much as I can. So, hmm. The question is if it's the play. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my. I think I'm just gonna go expo same line. I think I need to get the take the tower now. I got my evil archers, so I might gonna play them to bait on a fireball. I mean, they're gonna get. A, I'm gonna get tower anyway, right? So, let's see. I'm just gonna play evil archers now. So they're gonna get a decent amount of chip damage on the lava hound. What means decent amount of chip? It's like 70, like 30 percent off, I would say, or like 25 maybe. So this is like. Really, really good. I'm just gonna go for my ice bird like this. Good ice bird. I'm just gonna go knight like this. I'm gonna kite all of this away. I'm just gonna go for my log there. I'm just, just now gonna go Tesla. Is it gonna? Are they gonna snipe the Tesla? One of them is. That's actually crazy, guys. This is actually crazy if you think about. This is mind blowing. Okay. I'm just gonna go Tesla like this. Good Tesla. I'm also gonna go Fireball there to immediately kill it with an Ice Bird now. I'm just gonna go for my Knight. Archers like this, Skeletons like this. And now I need to another Fireball hopefully coming in at the right time, please! Okay, he doesn't have his spells. He needs to cycle now. I think it can't. I'm just gonna go Tesla here. I'm just gonna go Ice Bird like this. GG's well played. And I think we should be able to win this one. I'm just gonna go another expo. But I don't think there's any way. GG spell played. We won this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Evo Archers. Are they as good as the night? Are they as good as the world recruits? Are even or like a lot worse? This is kind of what I want to know. And I would I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Goodbye.